welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is cindy um, and on today's video is all about shopping i'm going to tell you how you can be more effective when picking pieces for your wardrobe also to start living in your closet enjoying every single piece in your wardrobe if you enjoyed this video please kindly give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe all right so the first thing i'll be discussing is first of all when you enter into any store you should automatically identify what the store represents you should know if what they sell is actually your own style if not i would advise you do not even bother shopping from that particular store first of all most of us we need to also know that shopping for a purpose is very very important It's very important because if we do not shop for a purpose, we realize that when we see something new on someone, you know, maybe on Instagram or your favorite blogger or something, you find out that you you have to start luring yourself into buying that particular thing just because these different people live in live in different um, parts of in the world. We do different things in the world. So if a blogger is wearing a particular outfit, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. You may be someone that goes to work like a nine to five person so you may end up buying this piece and then it just stays in your wardrobe or you probably you wear wear them just once in a while so eventually you just keep keeping pieces that are not going to you know get used and all that so shopping for a purpose know what you want so that when you get into any store you don't start um thinking oh let me get this oh let me get that and then eventually you're buying things that are just not going to get used in your wardrobe so do not just buy something because you know i've noticed that most of the time when i see something and i really love it and i'm like oh let me just get this thing and my heart is just racing to get it eventually it's just going to be there so you need to have a purpose for a particular piece anything you're buying like i always say in my videos anything you're buying just think of three different ways can you wear it to work can you wear it to for an occasion can you wait on a normal day? Are, are you able to style them in four to five different ways? If not, my advice is that you drop that particular piece. So seeing a particular um, dress or shoe on your favorite blogger or Instagrammer is not enough for you to say, oh, I need to get that. Okay, a lot of people are representing brand just to get to you, all right, just to lure you into buying these things. So that just because a particular dress looks so good on your favorite blogger or instagram ad does not mean you should use that as a parameter you know to buy to buy your own um pieces because we all have different body shape we have different lifestyles we have different places or different occasions that we go to so it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you so you need to have a purpose all right for every item you're purchasing for your wardrobe so shopping for purpose is very important all right i know this may sound funny and you know because a lot of us wait all year round all season round you know to be able to shop on sale and when we see the moment we see that little sale tag we get excited and we have to just go to that corner to start picking pieces you need to know that most times we eventually pick pieces that we think we need just because they are cheap and eventually we do not use them okay so first of all that is why it is important to have a purpose all right if you do not know what you want and you just see you know something on sale you may end up picking it up just because it's on sale and then eventually it's not something you can wear every day maybe it's just something you wear you'll be able to wear only on weekends and you know and you can't wear it on every weekend so it's just going to end up being like a waste of money as so as much as possible avoid the sale section especially when you do not have a target of what you are actually searching for all right so another tip is to avoid shopping on impulse you see for me so many years ago i already stopped shopping in some certain stores because they are what they stand for do not even align with my own style so I make sure I do not even bother going to stores like that so that I do not, you know, have the feel to even shop for anything that I do not need. All right. 
and because I ha I know that I have a different lifestyle from my favorite blogger or whoever it is that I love their style. So I'm not going to, you know, up on everything that, I, that they are actually buying. It may not work for me, so I, I'm just going to admire it and that's it. Because if I see someone wearing a dress that is so lovely and I end up buying it, and I'm someone that goes to work on a daily basis and I only go out on Fridays, does that mean on Saturdays or weekends, does that mean I'm going to only wear that dress on a weekend? So that's exactly you know i'm all for inspiration and all that it's very cool to get inspired by others okay but first of all look at what your own day-to-day -day style is what are the things what do you do um on a daily basis what what kind of style do you you know lean towards on a daily basis so that's the type of things that you should you know ensure that you have a lot in your closet so if you're someone that is always out and about you want to go for you know more basics are all right in your closet so different examples that's why that's what i mean by we have different lifestyles right so what i'm saying is, in essence is that if something has no function in your wardrobe then they need not to be in your wardrobe do not waste a dime on such you know when we look at the psychology of you know shopping it's more like it's just been designed for women to continue to spend and spend and spend so much money you know eventually and after some days after some months you're giving out the clothes already all because you're not using them and you need to you know buy more to replace them so we need to you know stop these things to stop these things and swap you know those pieces for the ones that would have functions in our wardrobe so quick look at my OOTD all right I'm wearing um, this abaya because of course there was eat period I'm wearing that abaya on my slides just a simple look showing you that um, and I'm currently in a Zara store so this you can use the opportunity to see what's new what's in currently in Zara so yeah that's me flipping my hair okay so um if you're enjoying this video please remember to give me a give me a thumbs up and also share and like um my video now let's get back on All right, so now let's move on to alterations, okay? There's no brand out there that wants you to know about alterations. There's, let me tell you something, all your favorite celebrities alter their clothes, okay? Most of us, 80% of us don't even have um, off the rack bodies. So if you're buying something and it doesn't fit perfectly well, go ahead and alter it. There is no designer okay no matter how expensive a, 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 a piece is no matter how expensive a dress is it can be altered do not even you know deceive yourself thinking that oh my body nobody has a perfect body alter the dress to fit you perfectly no matter what it is okay so if you if you you bought a particular dress and it doesn't fit as you know you want it to be or you you think that oh this person has a perfect body instead of trying to alter your body or try to alter the just go ahead and alter the dress okay there's no 80 percent of all the you know dresses you see on the runway um and you see them on your favorite celebrities has been halt they've all altered it at one point or the other to to make it perfect for them so you should also try to do that And the last tip I would like to give is to try as much as possible to create a capsule wardrobe. You know, we should learn to practice editing our wardrobe, you know, down to our favorite clothes, okay, to what we need at the moment and remixing them regularly and shopping less often and more intentionally. Let me know if you'd like me to, you know, um, make a whole video on how to create a capsule wardrobe because it's what i use all the time it's what keeps me you know spending less on shopping so if you do enjoy this video remember to give me a thumbs up please kindly subscribe to my channel okay also please share like and let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section i hope you are able to see what's in currently in zara through my camera all right so um yeah i basically just want to know what you think about this particular video income because it's different from what i usually do all right so what else 
follow me on instagram at simbifabgirl on please subscribe bye Thank you.